In the 2020 election, Donald Trump lost the state of California by 5 million votes. But he won the state's rural northern Shasta County with 65 percent of the vote. Nobody disputes that outcome. But now Shasta County has become ground zero for election conspiracies in a way that threatens to completely upend the county's system of voting. Now, it all started back in 2021 and 2022, when the local militia groups teamed up with a wealthy conservative filmmaker living in Connecticut and started a campaign to oust the Republican leadership in Shasta County. Several long-serving Republicans on the Board of Supervisors were replaced with hard-right members who have now made it their mission to transform Shasta County into even more of a conservative utopia. That apparently hostile takeover has already reportedly led to a devastating exodus of county employees who are now being replaced with fringe right-wing figures. Today, the L.A. Times reports that the newly super-conservative Shasta County Board of Supervisors offered the top job of running the county to the leader of a California secessionist movement, a man who wants to get all the rural conservative parts of California to secede from the more liberal parts and become a 51st state, which is quite an idea. They want to secede from all the blue parts of California, except for San Diego and parts of Silicon Valley. Anyway, there is more. The new Shasta County leadership now has a plan to cancel the county's relationship with Dominion voting systems. Dominion has been providing election machines to Shasta County for decades, but Dominion is also at the center of the baseless election fraud conspiracy pushed by Donald Trump and conservative media. And so now, in the conservatopia of Shasta County, Dominion has got to go. In its place... Shasta County supervisors are working with election conspiracy theorist and pillow mogul Mike Lindell to develop a new system to count all of Shasta County's ballots by hand. Lindell has promised to provide the county with all of the resources necessary, including financial and legal resources, for any legal fight they have with Dominion. Maybe some free pillows as well, but who knows. Not everyone is on board with this plan. This week, citizens of Shasta County confronted the board about that plan, as well as reports that Supervisor Kevin Cry has been flying to meet with Mr. Lindell on the taxpayer's dime. When you did fly across to meet with Mr. Lindell, um, were, were, did you use taxpayer money to fund that trip? I did fly out there, absolutely. Okay. Was it with taxpayer money? I was on a county-sponsored trip. Part, parts of my... Parts of my um, trip I paid for myself that were outside uh, the purview of the county. This whole city has like, sort of been a hostage to this Dominion voting machine situation. How are we supposed to have an election if an election were to pop up? And I don't think the answer is a hand-counted system provided by the MyPillow guy. That doesn't make any sense. It just it doesn't make sense. And. It is hard to know how a man who sells pillows for a living has the time to moonlight as a voting systems developer, but this is where we are. Cry foul about American democracy for long enough, loudly enough, and eventually someone will ask you to fix it.